Okay, Holiday Monday in the Kingdom. Yes, it's a Holiday Monday, so we still have to work because we're retired and the boss is an asshole. Yes, he's an asshole. Oh, well. So this morning we woke up to some decent temperatures. Yes, minus 30 Celsius, but feels like minus 35. Yes, nice temperatures. But on the yo-yo scale, minus 22. Lame ass. But feels like minus 31 Fahrenheit. Now that's better. Yes. Today the staff is coming over. We're going to take the famous black cat out. Because we made a music video yesterday. And the black. Oh, with not much talking in it. So today we're going to go out. And talk about how we changed the snow texture. Yes we took it from a sugary snow. To something workable. Yes. So we'll be doing that today. Because the famous black cat is a gas cat. And we can turn him off so we can chat. Yesterday with the diesel running, he can't really turn it off. Yes. And also, too, if we change the injectors and made it run smooth, nobody will ask why it runs funny. So, like we say, it was underwater for three years. You would run funny, too. So that's why we refuse to upgrade the fuel, in fuel system or fuel injection system on the Bismarck or the hood. Because that gives it telltale signs they were underwater. Because I could stand there in front of the cat and say this was underwater for three years. And everybody would go, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so that's why we keep the injection system. But once it warms up, okay, it smoothed right out. But how many other people are taking cats out at minus 30 below to have a little fun? Hmm. Not many people. Most people wait for a warm sunny day to take their cat out and drive it through the parade to wave at the ladies. Yes, but up here we are a little different. All right. Okay, we got a new product today. Rex in California sent us these. I know nothing of these, but I'm going to probably try and wreck them or break them or something. But look at the big word, titanium. Yes, titanium. That's a big word. I can't spell it. So they're going to test this out. This is a new product for us at the King of Obsolete. Because we don't use these funny drill bits. So it's going to be a learning curve. And I imagine the piece or the bit's going to grab. And the piece or the drilling will go flying across the shop or something. Or I'll get hurt and have to use a band-aid. Yes, we were gifted band-aids too for some reason. All right, let's venture back out of the hose shack. Look at that sun coming up. Clear and cold. Yes. Let's do the fresh breath test. <sighs> Ooh, that's kind of lame ass like my honeymoon. All right. Let's go over here. The flags are in their natural state. Yes, I untangled them. And also, too, being old and having a beverage problem, I get up most of the throughout the evening or throughout the night to, how would you say, have a pee. Yes, the older you get, the more you pee and the more you drink, too. All right. So I'm watching on the camera. The wood stove smoke smoldered all night. We're in a low pressure system for the last two days. This wood will not burn. Yes. So last night, the fire in the stove just smoldered away. Yes. So then when I opened the door of the wood stove to this morning, I got a face full of smoke, just like when mommy used to smoke in the car or at the supper table. And now the stove is going because I opened the door to let air in. Unreal. Living at the end of the world and you can't make wood burn. That's why pellet stoves and coal stoves are not used up here. Yes, because they don't work in low pressure systems. All right. Well, we better go. Here comes the boss. Monday morning in Whoville. It's almost 9 a.m. And as you can see, I already missed the sunrise. I slept in a little bit because I'm still not feeling the greatest. It is a holiday today, so I do not have school. But I will be going to the kingdom after lunch. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and make breakfast. Almost 1 o'clock and I just got the skidoo out. Now I'm going to head on over to the kingdom and see what we're doing today. I'm pretty sure we're going out with the famous black cat to go trim up the north trail. But I guess I'll find out when I get over there. Just after 1 p.m. and I made it to the kingdom. Looks like my dad is putting the side canvases on the famous black cat. It is pretty cold out here today, so at least he'll be nice and warm in there while I'm on my skidoo. Once he's done that, we can start her up, hook up to the drag, and then go down the north trail to push it back with the big wing.
now that we got the drag hooked up we're gonna go down the south trail over here and do a couple videos i'll just be following the famous black cat for the first little bit here until we do the second pass once we do that then i'll go in front to get some video Down the south trail now, my dad's off doing a couple detailed videos for you guys since he describes it a lot better than I do. I'm just waiting for him to come back so we can go down the north trail. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom, we're on the south trail. Yes, the south trail was a cat train trail used when they discovered the town of Whoville. All right, this is a standard trail. It's narrow because everything follows, yes. Everything follows. The sleighs are self-steering, so they follow along. I don't know if we can hear this. Okay, I'll scroll this way. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear the crunchiness or the hollowness. Okay, so we're going to walk here. There's a hollow sound to it because we have six inches of snowpack, okay? Yeah, it says night's not very good because it's sunny out there and the toothpick trees are holding it back. So what we've done is just drag this trail that's why there's no snow banks over here or over here okay it's seen quite dark over there but that's the joys of sunshine and the sun is actually in the south i'll walk along here and i don't know if you can hear the hollowness of the snowpack all right so we'll just get a little farther here there we go okay there's six inches of snow base here because we've dragged it. I don't know if we can see it right here. It's terrible. It's lighting here, but that's okay. We'll be doing this again and again. So we've packed the snow down. So we have six inches of snow base. That's what a cat train trail is all about because they just drag and drag or tow the sleighs over and over. Okay, I'm out in the sunshine here and I'll walk along to see if it, you can hear the hollowness of this snow. Okay, the cat trains would leave the kingdom here pulling the sleighs. There's the sleighs right there. And they would start in November with light loads and start building a road, okay? So that would just pack the snow. So we that's what we've done here in the kingdom. We pulled the drag and pulled the drag to pack the snow. But it's also testing these motors and getting the air injectors, the thermostats and everything set on these old cats. Because some of these cats are almost 80 years old. So that's what we do. So we don't plow snow in the kingdom. We just drag it and drag it. And when we drag it, we make it smooth. Because right where I'm standing is bedrock. And there's a drop off right there which is now smooth. So if we were to drive along, we wouldn't spill our beer.
On our way down to the Muskeg, and I noticed this plane flying overhead of the kingdom. I'll zoom in and show you guys, but wow, look how big that plane is. My phone is having a hard time zooming in on it. Just across the Muskeg, waiting for my dad to come with the famous black cat. As you can see, the trail is pretty packed now. Yesterday I could barely walk on this, and today it's nice and firm. Even over here on the side as well, it is all pretty rock hard. I can't dig my hand in to get some sugar. But once you dig down a little bit, it is still pretty soft in there and really sugary. So once we open up the trail, it'll be nice and wide for us because we're going to push back all these snow banks here as well and get this into the trees too. going to be a pretty boring day for me since my dad's doing most of the narrating and talking today since he describes everything a lot better and in more detail than I do. It's better if he just does it than me because I wouldn't know what to say. Okay, yesterday we plowed with the D69U known as the Bismarck with the V plow and the snow was 100% sugar. Okay, so look at that. Yesterday you couldn't walk and talk on it and there it's firm. But that's what we wanted. And also, too, we never plow to the ground. Yes, never plow to the ground. Everything is set up to leave snow. All right, so over here, I am plowing just using the feel. Yes, the feel. Okay, because I can't see anything with the canvas canopies on, but I'm warm. So I'm going along feeling what the tracks are. So if it's hard on my back, I've cut it down too much. And we always pull the drag because that's how it smooths it out. We never plow to the dirt trying to make it smooth okay the famous black hat has a totally recycled remade blade everything from the hydraulic cylinders to the v-plow itself the v-plow itself was built over close to 30 years ago and it's actually a propane tank that i cut and welded it into the curve and then i added away added on these tear away wing tips because there's rocks and everything hidden in the ground so you always hit those so this worked out good when you're plowing and pulling the sleighs too but then we started building winter roads or drill roads for these drillers so we're trying to open up a road that's not frozen so if we can get a base down like we have here and then as soon as you stop where or as soon as where the snow has been manipulated or moved the ground will be thawed or not frozen over here so we ended up putting a wing, wing tip extension to wing the snow over okay i don't know if you can see it but all these v plows and plows that i have in the kingdom do not are not designed to cut okay they have one angle blade that's designed to cut or straight blade on the little td6 but i don't know if you can see it in the snow tracks there there's wear shoes okay so these blades are not designed to cut any snow or down to the dirt okay it's next to impossible but this is what we want we want the snow to be moved over and we want the texture of the snow to change so this is what we're doing here and you have to be quick with the levers because the thing will how would you say uh cut at an angle so you have to be up and down and stay focused but i can't see anything i'm just doing the feel of the tracks and how much the cat is working to push the snow okay i don't know if the lights or the shadows will show you but i have a slight angle right here which is okay because I can pull the double Z drag through here and this thing will become level. But we want a nice base for the sleighs. And then everybody says, why don't you just hook onto the sleighs and pull? Well, trying to pull four sleighs through sugar, that's like trying to pull, I would just say, at the, at the beach. Okay, you can't do anything. The cat will just sit there and spin. The old timers started early and then when they were, how would you say, they built the road, it was basically snow compacted and compacted and compacted. But up here we have sugar snow and that comes from when it goes to 40 below and stuff it changes the texture of the snow so this is the easiest way we found to do it for filming and documenting the cats and the sleighs I just run through with the v-plow wing it over don't get carried away come back the next day and do the whip it over because the snow is now staying over here okay yesterday if i pushed it anymore it would just roll back so today it's staying over in the trees where we wanted. We want a nice base down in here. 
Oh, the shadows. <laughs> Unreal. But that's what we want. We don't want anything plowed to the dirt or down to the, to the ground. Okay, the joys of cat training, they leave the vegetation, everything on the ground. They travel on the snow. So in the summer, if we travel down here, this road will still be green and how would you say green grass and green moss and everything like that. All right, let's get plowing here because it's getting cold standing here holding the me phone. Over at the loop to go back to the kingdom yesterday i stood right over there to get a video of my dad going by with the bismarck and the big v plow today i'll stand on the opposite side and see what i get for footage Up on the track bed, circling back to the kingdom, which is just over there. Our little camping spot is right in here. We stopped because my dad said the famous black cat was running hot. So I got to take off a piece of cardboard there and loosen up some of the side panels. That way you can breathe. The last thing we want is it to overheat.
at the back of the kingdom. The ramp is right there and the wood pile is just through the trees over there. My dad is coming around this way and he's going to come out the back gate and then back around onto the trail slash the train tracks here so we can do our second pass. While my dad does a quick pass around the rabbit tower, I came over here to show you guys my little trail from yesterday. As you can see, I'm standing on it and it's nice and hard, but the moment I step off of it, I go down to my knee, so it is still pretty sugary, except for my trail. Over behind the ramp now, it's just in the trees over there. I just wanted to show you guys the video from yesterday. This was all the hard pack stuff that we've been packing for the last couple days. Then this over here is what we did yesterday. We did go on top of it again, so that's why it's a little sugary on top. But underneath of it all, you can see that it's pretty much packed down now and it's nice and firm. So a couple more days of it firming up like this and we'll be able to have the green toy and a few other things down here. three o'clock and I'm officially done in the kingdom. My dad's going to do another pass with the famous black cat and the drag, but I don't need to be here for that. We already have enough recorded, so now it's time to grab my dog treats, head on back into Whoville, and then do the weather at around five o'clock or so. 
just after 3 p.m. and I made it home from the kingdom and I already put the skidoo away. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and I'm going to wait till about 5 or so to do the weather. As you can see from my video here, the moon's already out. If my phone will focus in on it, but the moon is already out and it's halfway up in the sky. 6 o'clock and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 17 degrees Celsius, which is 1 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been pretty warm today and as you can see the sun is setting. We have a pretty nice sunset for once with no clouds in the sky. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make supper, and end my day. Okay, we had a little fun plowing and having the side curtains on. Man, does it get hot in there. Plus, I can't see anything. So I just go along plowing until the engine lugs down and I know I'm cutting too much or I can feel it in the tracks. But also too, here's the homemade V-plow and see how it just sits on the ground. It's made to, how'd you say, plow snow, not dig in. All right, and then over here with the V-plow from Kansas. All right, we've highly modified it. It is a Balderson and Balderson was a company in Kansas and they got bought out by Caterpillar because they were making all the attachments. Okay, so here we are, Balderson, and I can screw up that name, Whamigos or something, okay. When I got the plow over 20 years ago, we ran the numbers here, and it was made for a D6 cat, so it's supposed to fit and everything. But as you can see, we've modified it, okay. Okay, plows are made to go along and cut the ground, okay. That's why they have cutting edges, because they wear out. We don't want that. Okay, so we've modified it. So you can see there's no skidder, skid shoes or anything like that. There's one at the front. And notice this here. See the little kinky boo there? Is that better? See, it goes along and kinks. We want this plow sitting flat out front here because we're actually not plowing to the ground. We're actually plowing above. There is a little shoe ski thing in here, okay? Of course, we can't see it, but it's set to, well, so it doesn't really dig in. But all the controls for this V-plow is done by the hand levers up in here, okay? And we know what's going on because we can feel it in the tracks. And then plus we can see down in here, through that little hole, we can see the tracks on the inside here to see what the snow texture is and stuff like that. Okay, this will basically be the first winter with the V-plow on the Bismarck Cat. The Bismarck Cat, we had clutch problems with, so it never really did much. Yes, 20 years later, 25 years later, we're still working on the equipment. But then again, I don't sell the stuff. I don't uh, fix and sell, pump and dump, you know, like the stock market. There was a fellow by the name of Oren Stevens. He was on the Caterpillar websites and forums and stuff. He bought the plow, so those guys in Kansas cut it in half. Yes, they cut it in half to ship it because it's so big and so wide but then again I'm a welder so it only took me two days to weld it back together so they did a nice job I would just say cutting it in half for shipping and I did a nice job welding it back together but this thing will be modified more and more as we use it okay because we're plowing snow we're not plowing down to the dirt we have to leave a snow base for the cats and the sleighs okay and hopefully tomorrow we'll be taking a sleigh out if we're sober enough and then we can see how our plowing did today. All right, let's go to the shop and see what else we're doing. Okay, now let's get all these canvases out of the shop here. We fixed them all up and everything. And in theory, they are dry with the glue that we used or whatever. On freaking real this wood stove. It's really starting to annoy me like one of my ex-wives or whatever. It just won't burn. And then when it does burn, it burns out of control. And then it decides not to burn and fill the house, shop up full of smoke. All right, let's get these canvases on. Even if they're not properly installed on the cats, the thought that it, the thought counts that they're out of the shop and then we can weld without burning them. Okay, great fun, I think. Trying to put the canvases on for different cats onto different cats. Like that's like trying to get Dolly Parton into a training bra. So I ended up putting the canvas on upside down because there's no clearance here on between the fenders and stuff yeah they worked on the other cats but it's too tight on these ones here but it's the wrong canvas for the wrong cat all right so this one turned out not too bad but the canvas is kind of dried especially the ones that are in the sun you just see it ripped away there but oh well what are we going to do all right let's go check the flags okay holiday monday in the kingdom and i stocked up the wood stove and it still doesn't want to freaking burn yes i have the door open about three inches just to try and get it to burn 
unreal but that's the joys of being in a low pressure air system all right look at that beautiful sunset even i can tell the colors all right and here's the flags in their natural state of being limp all right let's go walk the dogs oops have a burp drink some more beer and make a video talk to you later